Yeah, we, so we, uh, what we set up a little bit, Garrett, is that what, what you're describing is when you, we interviewed, it has changed a little bit now where they have like a part one and part two interview. But with us, back in our day, it was one week of, of meeting people and a lot of medical exams. But that, that interview you're talking about, the actual was an interview with the selection board that uh, you're there with 20 other candidates. So everyone's interviewing at a different time during the week. And so you had yours apparently on a Thursday with the Halter monitor and John Young. Tell us who John Young was. Oh, John Young. He, um, he was like the astronaut's astronaut. I mean, he's like a legend. Uh, so he flew the first flight of Gemini with, uh, Gus Grissom. Uh, he flew to the moon in Apollo twice. He flew in Apollo 10 and didn't land. So he went back on another yep. Apollo mission and walked on the moon. And then uh, he was the commander of the first space shuttle mission, Young and Crippen, in 1981. They flew uh, the very first flight of the space shuttle. So this guy, and, and I knew, like, walking in there, he's not going to be impressed with the fact that I was captain of my high school wrestling team. All right? That was not, <laughs> that was, that was not going to impress this guy. So, um, so my strategy was to try to get him to laugh. That was my strategy. <laughs> and I accomplished that in the first five minutes of the interview. So I, I, I was feeling confident, and, and the interview went well. So that's how did, if you how ask did me you why. Do, how did you do this? And just so you know, folks, John Young, John Young passed a few years ago. Absolute hero, wonderful guy. Uh, but I don't really know if it'd be easy to to make him laugh. So how did you accomplish that? Well, I, it was a gamble, but it, it turns out he has a great sense of humor. You know, you just got to mm -hmm. like get past the uh, crusty, uh, um, curmudgeonly exterior, you know. But uh, <laughs> but underneath, he's, he's he's actually a super funny guy. He could be on this. He could have been on this podcast. He could be, we could have made it three funny astronauts. He could have been with us because he's actually he's actually got a great sense of humor. And um, so so I walked in there and it's and I didn't have a plan for how I was going to make him laugh. I just wanted to try to accomplish that. So he looks at me as I sit down. And he goes, "So, son, how's it going?" And I said, um, <laughs> "I said, uh, uh, well, to be honest, it's going a lot better than my last job interview." <laughs> and, he, and he says, he goes, really? Uh, why, why, why is that? And I said, well, I said, because this time I remembered my pants. <laughs> it's, a, it's a true story. I, <laughs> I had a job interview uh, when, I was a, when I was wrapping up my graduate studies at Caltech at uh, TRW, which mm -hmm. is uh, an aerospace company that, that and is now part of Northrop Grumman, but there's this big aerospace company down here. And I had to drive from Pasadena to the west side of L.A. during rush hour and to be there in time for my interview. And, and I thought I was being really smart. I said, OK, I was dating this, this girl at the time that lived near there. And I'll stay at her parents' house with her, you know, and I'll wake up in the morning and then I'll have a short drive and I won't be late for my interview. So I get up and, and, and everything was going great. I get up in the morning. Everything is fine. And I open my suitcase and I got my my suit jacket. I got my tie, my dress shirt, my dress shoes. No pants. I forgot the <laughs> pants. No pants. So I had a, I went to the interview wearing all that, like the, the dress shirt, the tie, the, and powder blue jeans. All right? That's, that's all I had. <laughs> and and, and I, I thought, this is terrible. And I'm like hiding behind podiums and stuff as I'm giving the talk, and I'm, so I don't see my pants. But then I realized that this, these were all aerospace engineers, right? They, they don't know anything about fashion. They don't care. Nobody even noticed, you know? But I did... Um, I signed all the, all my thank you notes, you know, I wrote thank you notes to the guys that interviewed me and I said, thank you for the opportunity, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, if you hire me, I promise to take the first paycheck and go out and buy a decent pair of pants. <laughs> so so I, told, I told that to John Young and he laughed and that was that. That's pretty good. That's a funny story.